Welcome to this next video by Howard Piano Industries. Uh, today we're going to be showing you how to remove the keys and the action from a grand piano. Um, uh, the keys and, and action generally are, are in most grand pianos are all in one uh, one piece or all connected together in one frame inside the inside the cavity uh, action cavity of a piano. And we're going to show you how to remove that for uh, working on it. If you have to do any repair work to the action or clean the inside of the that action cavity, um, the first thing you want to want to want to do is take off the key slip. Okay, and the key slip is this. Uh, board right here that sits in front of the keys. Now the the fall board and the key slip and the and these are called the cheek blocks here. Um, those are all come out of pianos differently you know based on what uh, what brand of piano they are. Um, the the way that uh, this is a Mason Hamlin grand piano the way that uh, this one's put together as well as Steinway and some of the other um, American made pianos is uh, the key slip just uh, slips right off okay so you can uh, just and what it is is uh, it's got slots at the end here that sit uh, and and clip over these uh, these screws here at the end okay and those that's how it's held on so if you've got a Steinway or a Mason Hamlin piano I think uh, Baldwin may may have uh, those that type of a of a uh, key slip also those can slip right off uh, some of the key slips like if you've got an Asian made piano um, a lot of the Asian made pianos um, will have the key slip can't actually come out um, until the cheek blocks come out okay so going on to um, Asian pianos if you've got um, an Asian piano what will happen is this is the fall board and what uh, what this will do is you can just lift it right off it's got pins on the end of the fall board that uh, just sit in slots at the end um, fall board the fall board hinges so what you can do is you can just uh, angle it down here and then lift up like that and and it'll slide right out so like in Yamaha, Kawai, um, uh, Young Chang, Samick, all, all of those some of them will have a little set screw here that you have to loosen like on a lot of the Kawai Grands they'll have a set screw that you'll have to loosen before you can lift that out so if you see a little screw head there right um, right at the end by the hinge <coughs> excuse me <coughs> make sure you loosen that um, almost all the way out before you before you try to lift the fall board out <clears throat> so that's um, uh, so on the Asian pianos once you remove the fall board then um, underneath the cheek block right underneath here underneath the key bed um, there will be a screw going up into this cheek block so um, sometimes there's uh, um, a screw head sometimes it's a little knob that you can just turn um, and uh, but uh, take that screw out of each of each end of the cheek block underneath the key bed and then once you've got that off after the fall board is off then you can lift those cheek blocks out and then your key slip will come out okay but um, here we've got because this is a Mason Hamlin piano and again this is the same as uh, I believe Baldwin and also the Steinway pianos uh, you take the key slip off first once you've got the key slip off, then you're going to want to um, loosen the screws for the for the cheek blocks. Okay, and I've got here we've got um, they're usually pretty good sized screws, but that's one of the screws for the cheek block. Set that aside somewhere that um, you'll be able to won't get lost. And I'll take the cheek block out for the other or the screw out for the other cheek block and um, the way that these um, fall boards and cheek blocks are is um, the the uh, the fall board is in a, a slot at the end of the cheek block so you're going to want to lift the cheek block up And then carefully lift it out, making sure you don't drop those key key blocks on the on the floor, because what they are they're on, they're just on hinges like this, and they just sit over over these pins here. Okay, so they're not screwed on or anything, but um, they're um, attached. The, the cheek blocks and this and the fall board are attached um, by those 
by those by those pins. So, so you can see there's a pin right there. Okay, so those um, again, that's the same as a lot of the American-made grand pianos. So once you've got that out, then you can see we've got uh, the keys, and they'll go quite a ways back. And uh, it's on what's called a key frame. So right here we've got the key frame, and underneath it you can see the the punchings and the and the front rail pins and so forth. Um, so what you want to do then is usually it's not screwed to the key bed. I've seen a couple of brands that um, the the key bed or the key frame is actually um, a screwed down to the key bed, but uh, not in most cases. So um, now one thing you want to be careful of when you're pulling the uh, key bed and the or key um, frame and the action out is that none of the hammers um, are up at all okay if you push down on a key it's going to raise the hammer and if you try to if you have if you've got a hammer raised while you try to pull the key frame out you're going to break the hammer off okay don't don't ask me how i know that uh, most people learn it from hard experience and i've done it a, once or twice okay but um what you'll do is uh from the sides here is just kind of work it out okay again making sure that none of those hammers are raised up okay and once you've pulled it you can just pull it and uh, and there you've got the whole uh, keys uh, key frame and action stack okay the, this action stack right here is is attached um, with these uh, action brackets um, sometimes there's five sometimes there's four um, but uh, once you've got that out you can uh, you can take the action stack off and you've got access to the to be able to take the keys off um, so that's uh, that's basically the way to, to put it back in now when you or to take it out when you go to put it back in again making sure none of your hammers are are raised up at all or anything you can put that Put that in, and, and I usually put the right side in a little bit because um, usually on on this side there's a shifter spring inside the action cavity, so you've got to get it um, inside that action that action shifter spring. And there usually be some tension, but if you push it back in, you do the same thing uh, in putting the um, the fall board back in. You put those blocks onto the end of the on the end of the fall board or if you've got uh, in a, again an Asian type piano you put the um, the uh, key slip on and then the cheek blocks and then slide the fall board back into place so basically that's how to, how to remove the remove and replace the action um, on a grand piano so that you can do work to it if you have any questions feel free to visit us on the web which is howardpianoindustries.com